Yep. They're so hungry that they're flying over the fence. How are you guys going to get back over? Am I supposed to pick each one of you up? This is not cool. Stop flying over. You're really fat and hard to catch. fed. They have water over there, so they're good. This weekend, I will clean my backyard. Nice dirt. So I couldn't, I couldn't resist, and I bought a strawberry plant. I pl I, I sowed a bunch of seeds uh, a few weeks ago, but when I was at the grocery store, I I saw these and I got so excited. So we bought some. I'm gonna plant it now, and we, let's hope it survives. We have a pretty good forecast for the next. 10 days or so we have rain but I don't think it's going to be intense rain so I feel okay planting this and I need to plant something. My garden is so barren right now and I just I feel So there is the little kiddie pool for my strawberries. And there was two starts and one, so I separated them. Um, it was kind of by accident, but <laughs> it's okay, don't tell anybody. So I'm just making a nice little nice little mulch surrounding. So because this the soil really stayed wet in here. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I might just try to find a bunch of kiddie pools and I was thinking about tires as well because there's a, a lot of tires I just worry about the plastic there the uh, the rubber but there you go and then I have my little waterer here and this is the water that we collected over the winter hopefully it doesn't kill it so we'll just give it a nice good water it didn't have blossoms just yet but it has some little starts of blossoms, so I just want to get it nice, good, and wet. And then the rest of this water, I'm going to give to my little peas I sowed. I don't know if the squirrels ate them or not. That's a possibility. Um, yeah, this morning I got four buckets, and I just dumped it all in this, in this raised bed. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully they germinate. Oh, we shall see. But it's nice to have something growing. The greenhouse is now completely filled. Well, maybe not completely. I could probably organize it to, to fit more. But it's filled now. I've got all my zinnias and tomatoes and basil and tomatillos and all the good stuff out here. Everything's been watered this morning. And there's more stuff down there. I'll take you on this side. Um, I did some experimental peas, and they're doing really, really well. I broke one today, so I only have five. Um, but everything's doing super well. The greenhouse is doing really, really well. 
Um, they've been out back out here for a couple days now and then all the new stuff just came out this morning. Um, but I was watering my bed and I saw something that I just got so excited about. My official first sprout of the year. And that is peas. Little snap peas. There's a bunch of them. Look at that. That's so exciting. And the uh, pinto beans have not come up yet. I see something growing there. I don't know what those are, but something's growing. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm excited. Um, I took the time and watered everything this weekend or today. Huh. Yeah, there's nothing sprouting over here. I'm a little worried about the ants. I hope that they don't um, they don't eat the root zone. My husband said that they can eat the root zone, so hopefully it doesn't happen. Uh, this morning, I, I I don't know if you uh, watched a previous video, but or maybe I didn't post it. I can't remember. But um, I planted a couple strawberries, strawberry plants. And uh, a squirrel actually came through and tore one of them apart. So hopefully this one lives and uh, we don't have any issue. Oh, this one's kind of dug out actually. Maybe I should. I'm just going to bury it back up. I've been uh, just taking the wood shavings and putting them over. What are you doing in here? You're not supposed to be in the garden. What are you doing? I finally got the gate up on the chicken pen so we don't have to walk over or uh, step on the bucket to put our leg over the fence and step on the chair to get in. Now it's, um, it's a little easier. But my peach tree, I'm so excited about it. It's so pretty. What was that, Toby? Silly boy. So that's looking really well. The apple tree is starting to get some growth, but the plum tree still looks dead as a doorknob or whatever that saying is. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven babies left. Um, I've sold probably four or five now. So that's nice. All of their ears are dropped. <laughs> I want to talk to you guys. <sighs> So yeah, it's been a rough couple of weeks. Um, Taylor has been working in Denver um, the last couple weekends, and so usually the weekends are when we tag team the the chores and get everything in a nice, nice uh, orderly and organized and clean place for the next week. And my neighbor kids are crazy. Oh, I just heard my husband too, um, but. So the weekends are usually when we reset, get everything in a nice little tidy order and um, get ready for the next week. But uh, since he's been gone the last two weekends, it's all been on my shoulders and it's been really hard. I'm glad that we don't have kids right now because it's it's been really, really difficult for me to keep up with everything <coughs> as well as keeping up with videos and vlogging and that kind of thing. So I really haven't been doing that um, and put out a couple videos in the last week uh, not not including the one of, of me at church um, but yeah so I put a put out a few videos this last couple weeks um, and another thing that has kind of stopped me from vlogging and stuff is uh, my videos started getting dislikes and no one's been leaving comments about what I could change so I've just been like all right well you know, I hate my editing app. I, I, I don't feel motivated to do this. Um, so I honestly have just been doing the bare minimum. And um, I, it's, it's, it's been an issue. So um, yeah, those dislikes really hurt my heart. And I, I had to come to the realization that, you know, not everyone's gonna like me. Not everyone is gonna like what I have to say. Um, 
and I can't seem to get over 170 but I mean I don't I'm not here for the subscribers I'm here for the community and you know if if someone has an issue with what I say or how I do the videos or anything like that I know that a lot of people would say who cares if you like me you like me if you like don't like me you don't and you know to a certain degree I feel that way but you guys are my new family and if you don't agree with something or if you have something to say to me don't be afraid to say it don't be mean <laughs> you know I'm not I'm not trying to invite like mean comments or anything or fights but you know if, if I could be doing something better with my animals with my videos with my editing whatever just let me know you know <laughs> I don't mind taking uh, criticism that's one of my strengths is you can you can tell me something and um, I'll, I'll take it to heart but that's also my weakness you know if, if you just blow me off or dislike my video it kind of hurts so I'm learning I'm learning how to deal with um, the vid like just being on YouTube being a public public uh, figure I don't know just me in the public I you know you guys can see me this is this is my family this is my heart this is my home and I'm, I'm just letting you guys get a small glimpse of it and you know I'm just I'm trying my best <laughs> and um, you know I'm only 26 and this is all new for me. I've never been raised on a farm. I never had all these animals growing up. Um, this is all new for me and I hate the trial period but I also love it because it teaches me and it builds my character. My love, you won't ever be alone My summer love, been waiting 